like the video right now if you don't want this ugly, dirty, bummy crackhead off the corner to be with your sister. Like the video right now. I would not risk you. Hey yo, what's good YouTube? Yeah, it's your boy, Crack Man Stevie, and I'm coming at y'all with the GOAT, the Michael Jordan build, bro. This this is probably going to be my main build after a while. After 2K goes on for a while and people start learning how to shoot, this is going to be my main build. Y'all going to see me make videos on this build 24-7, like kind of like, kind of how Joe Knows makes videos on Michael, on LeBron James build. This is my Michael Jordan build. This is the Michael Jordan build of 2K21. If y'all don't believe me, I'm making this build similar to how dominant Jordan is. All right. So like how he would like play. So the pot chart I want to go with this year. Wait, before y'all go with the, last year's pot chart, everyone went with the defensive and playmaking pot chart. Well, this year, this pot chart is straight patch. Like this pot chart is kind of like trash. I'm not going to lie. Everything takes longer to get. I mean, like the defense is good. So if y'all want to go with the defense, go with that one. But for me. This year, I'm going with the like the mostly finishing, partially shooting pot chart. It just makes the most sense. Now, listen to me when I say this. Physical profile. Go with the speed and strength pot chart. Why? Because vertical never matters. Ne vertical never matters. No 2K. It's just an extra stat. People like to show up. Now, if y'all don't believe me, y'all can go with the balance pot chart or something like that. But I don't know. Now, look. There's two, way two ways y'all can go set up y'all finishing. One way is max out everything and uh, not close shot, or y'all can max out your close shot to 12, to just enough so you can get 12 finishing badges. Or if y'all don't want to do the finishing badges, y'all can honestly just put up the standing dunk. Cause I don't know, like you might need a certain type of standing dunk to get the animation. So if y'all want to, y'all can sacrifice that and take down the close shot, but not me. Now for uh, shooting, max out everything on shooting besides Free throw. I know y'all probably like, oh, Michael Jordan is good. We making this build for park wise, so we not upgrading the free throw. Just put it up so you can have 17 shooting badges. That's all you need. Post fade good, shooting good, three ball is solid. Everything looks good. Now for defense, y'all want max out everything on defense besides offensive rebound. Y'all don't want to max that out. Do not max it out. Y'all just want to have enough so y'all can have eight badges, eight defensive badges, and nine playmaking badges. Y'all have two, two points left. Y'all can put it wherever y'all want. Y'all can put it on close shot. Y'all can put it somewhere on y'all shooting, y'all free throw. Y'all can put it on y'all pass accuracy, anything. But for me, I'm going to put it on block. Now, I know Michael Jordan is a go-to passer, but look, the way this year is, we don't have no, we don't have enough points to go for everything. Now, body shape, obviously, I go built with every build. Y'all can go define because, like, Jordan, they say Jordan is defined or whatever. But I go built with every, 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 every build I make, I go built. Now, six for six, y'all can go six for six if y'all want to. If y'all don't care that too much about the speed and the speed drop, but for me, I'm trying to get more strength and stuff. So if I made them six for six, it's just honestly pointless. But if y'all want to go with the real MJ height, go ready to hit and go six for six. But six for six just takes way too much hits already. So I'm not going to do that. For weight. For me, I'm going a solid 233 pounds. Now, why? Everyone knows, if you know how Michael Jordan plays, he likes to post up. Fade away. Fade away God on everybody, bro. So, y'all need that extra strength. Now, look. Don't go over 230. Y'all can go 231 or go 230, uh, 233. But the reason why I'm going 233 is just to get the extra interior defense. So, you can be a little bit better on defense. You have 76 strength with a 78 speed acceler acceleration. Once you get gym rat, you're going to be way over a 80 strength and an 80. Uh, y'all going to be like in close to 90 speed. I mean, y'all going to be like 86 speed or something like that. When y'all hit 99 with gym rat badge and then max out the wingspan. You have contact dunks off rip. You don't have all contact dunks. You have 84 driving dunks. You have contact dunks. You have a solid mid range, way better than last year's MJ. You have a nice three ball. You have an 85 post fade. You still, you still are good on dribbling. I'm not saying that you have pro dribble moves because you won't have it. But everyone knows that like every 2K, if you try to use Michael Jordan, his dribble moves always suck. I'm not going to lie. But like the defense is solid and everything. And you have the option to go of lockdown takeover. 
if this isn't a Michael Jordan build, bro, I don't know what is. But like, this is probably the best version of a Michael Jordan build you can get on NBA 2K21. I'm not lying to y'all. Now, if y'all want to, y'all can go with the lockdown takeover so y'all can lock up every guard. Because, like, obviously, you're gonna be going to, y'all going to be going against guards. Now, 2K20, uh, Michael Jordan, I think he had, like, post-scoring takeover or something like that. But if y'all want to be completely dominant and straight destroy everybody in the park, just go with Slash and Takeover. And what you get? You get a slasher similar to or shades of James Harden and Paul George. That's already two good names. And Jerry Stackhouse. Paul George and James Harden for a Michael Jordan build? Bro, if you tell me that this isn't if if you're telling me that this isn't a Michael Jordan build, bro, I don't know what is. This is probably the closest you can get to an MJ build. It just makes the most sense. If y'all try to do the other, uh, if y'all try to do the defensive and playmaking posture, it just kind of doesn't really match up to an MJ type of build. Not Just not for me. I just want the dominant version. But anyone can be good on defense. So for the defensive badges, what I'm going to go with, I'm going to just go with clamps on goal and intimidator on goal. And uh, I'm probably going to put on bronze pogo stick and bronze rim protector. Or y'all could put on like pick dodge or whatever y'all want. The last two badges, y'all could put it on whatever y'all want. But for me, I'm going to just go with pogo stick bronze and rim protected bronze. Now for playmaking badges, listen to me when I say this. You have nine playmaking badges. What y'all want to do, y'all want to put on gold quick first step, bronze unpluggable, and the handles for days and ankle breaker, y'all can y'all can switch that out because like y'all don't need ankle breaker. Y'all might want to rock post spin technician. And remember, this is a Jordan build, so you're not going to be spamming dribble moves all up and down the court 24-7. So y'all don't really need handles for days max out to gold. Y'all can set up y'all badges like this on playmaking. But remember, you're not going to be spamming dribble moves 24-7 on this type build. We're going to be playing like MJ, straight dominant. Now, if y'all if if like me and don't really care about taking ankles and all of that, just go with the post-spin technician. It'll help you a lot better when y'all try and get them post fades and stuff. Like it just makes it just makes a lot of sense. Now, when I make this build and I start and I start uh, going crazy on it, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. But I'm telling y'all, like this build, this build gonna go crazy. If y'all make this build high, it's gonna go crazy. Now for finishing badges, if y'all if y'all would have went with the uh, the standing dunk version of this build and take down the close shot, and only have nine finishing badges. Yeah, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. Max out. Contact finisher, max out soldier finisher, and max out your back down punisher. Put it on Hall of Fame. Just put your back down punisher on Hall of Fame. With a Hall of Fame back down punisher, it doesn't matter what guard you're going up against. Those guards with like a 30 strength in any of that, like a low strength, you are bodying them every single time. You have high strength. You are way over. You like it just makes the most sense like you can literally body any guard with a hall of fame back down for, the for shooting badges since you have gold shooting badges which is good enough for an mj build put on d phase gold hazel hunter gold ranger stinner i mean ranger stinner gold dead eye gold difficult shots gold and green machine silver this is probably the best way to set up a mj build now y'all can take off like green machine and put on clutch shooter or something or catch and shoot if y'all want to do that but this is probably the best way to make MJ build. If y'all did enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, drop a sub, drop a sub right now, bro. We on the road to 10K. We going, we going crazy for these 2K20 uploads. If this video gets like five likes or like 10 likes or something, I will drop the face creation video right after this one. Same day, I'm dropping the face creation video. So this was the Michael Jordan build. I'm out. Peace.